Hey Alex, it's Dr. Scott. I have some feedback for you on your SA2 draft. Just as a quick reminder, uh, for this assignment, the main criteria that I'm looking at are your ability to write a thesis statement that's um, it's got a clear argument. It's interesting argument. It's something that can be debated, and um, it's got a clear roadmap, like uh, issues that you're going to discuss, like what your body paragraphs are going to be about that are going to help you um, defend that thesis statement. Also, looking at your ability to use details from the murals and also uh, quotes from either the Scioto Historical website or the, uh, or the documentary that we watched about the floodwall murals. And looking at organization, your ability to transition between ideas, uh, to group idea, uh, similar ideas together, um, but also to have a reason why you're going from one paragraph to another and making that reason clear to your, to your reader. Transitions help with that. Finally, I'm looking at your ability to integrate sources into your writing to avoid Stedman's uh, annoyances that we've read about earlier this semester. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, the draft is kind of short, so what I did is I just I have some notes to myself over on the side. That's what this stuff is right here, and uh, it's just to remind my to remind me of issues to talk to you about. I think right now, like job one. In revising this essay is figuring out exactly what the argument is um, because the sadness and sacrifice that must be made there there's something that should be following that must be made that isn't there right now and it feels like the the essay doesn't it doesn't have like a, a clear direction like of where it's going like you're, you're writing about sadness and you're writing about sacrifice um, but you're not kind of bringing them together and saying, here's here's what I think that murals are trying to say about this town or about these events or about the river itself. Um, here's the the values that the people in the town have. I don't get a sense that there's that kind of argument just yet in the paper. And so I don't feel like there's an argument necessarily yet. I mean, just saying that they show sadness and sacrifice, um, there needs to be something there more to that. And I think you're kind of getting at it with, that that must be made, and maybe you and I can kind of talk through and we can figure out exactly what it is that, that, that you mean by that. I definitely think that you do have a, a really interesting way of capturing emotions or describing emotions that the visuals are, are trying to convey. Um, here you're just telling us that they can, that we feel emotions, but later on in your in your essay, you actually do a really solid job of including really nice detail that helps us um, kind of understand what those emotions are. You do that here, and you also do it in a later paragraph. Yeah, the silence of what the boat is hearing. I, I really like that description there. As far as um, uh, like the focus of your, your paragraphs, right now it seems like you're focusing on each mural like mural one and then mural two, and that's really not going to work for this kind of assignment. The way it should work is, um, like if you have colors as one way that they get, you know, some kind, some kind of idea about the town or um, the town shows togetherness or something, you know, these two murals are showing the together, togetherness that are in the town, and one way that they do that is by colors. That's great. Um, what that means for your body paragraph is that you're talking about both murals in that paragraph about colors. You do kind of need to mix it up. Because what happens is, like when you keep them separate like this, you get into um, a pattern where you just kind of summarize, all right, I'm just seeing these details in the mural. Uh, and you do that in places in both paragraphs. Like there's, there's stretches where it's just like you see this, and then you see this, and then you see this. And it's not connected to a, a larger concept, like the use of color or the use of uh, or action, or the, you know, the way that the murals are framed, or, you know, whatever visual kind of stuff that you're going to talk about, that gets thrown out the window, um, and you're left kind of just describing details. So, writing about color, and then writing about both murals in that paragraph, that complicates it a little bit, but that's a complication that you get to explain and discuss. So you can talk about, like, hey, there's a lot more color that's going on in this mural, but here's how I think that that impacts what they're trying to say about this town that's different than this than this right here. I mean, it's almost like we're supposed to take this more seriously here because it looks like an old-time photograph and everything's kind of whitewashed and there's this kind of haunting image that's in the middle that, that kind of centers us and we see all the 
the stuff that's happening on the periphery. Um, and we're constantly going from here to here to here to here. So you, you got to talk about both murals and your body paragraphs. It just, it, it, um, it, it's going to seem like it's more, it's more work, but it's work that gets you to describe. It's work that gets you to explain connections that um, is kind of the meat of this essay. So the big, um, the big issue is figuring out what the argument is. And I think I, I see hints of, think, of ideas that could connect the pieces. One is this togetherness idea that's in this paragraph here. Um, that might be something that you bring up. Um, or that might, not that you just bring up, but that you kind of center the entire paper around. Um, I could see you doing that. Um, and I see, and other folks have kind of gone gone about that as well. There's somebody else, um, I think it's um, a student in the 11 o'clock class, that's writing about how these uh, these murals are showing us the uh, the danger and the beauty that the that the river has at both at the same time, which is a complicated thing, but it's kind of interesting. Um, and I think it's the same murals that you're writing about. So you you have options as far as what the argument is. But that argument needs to be much clearer, and the body paragraphs need to be talking about both murals. And uh, um, there's places where you're just kind of describing the mural when you're not necessarily kind of using that description to support an argument. Okay, I'm happy to help you brainstorm your way through that. Um, a chat with the Writing Center could also help as well. Um, but whatever you need, if you need to chat with me a couple times in the upcoming week, definitely do that. Your revisions do. Uh, Monday, November the 12th, and again, I'd be happy to chat with you this upcoming week about your revision ideas. All right, Alex, that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon.